Finally, last road of the night. Yeah, I'll take even. Do you do odds? Shane, I'm gonna win this. <laughs> no chance. I'll let you go ahead just to make you think you're winning the bet. We both know I'm better at door to door sales. Well, I'm 12 ahead, so I don't think you're gonna do it. Shut up, you prat. You're not gonna beat me. Don't give it all that, Huey. I'll win, just you see. What's the name of this road anyway? Uh, Monster Road. Huh? Monster Road. Oh no. Oh, what's wrong? Huey, this is Monster Road. Have you not heard the stories about this street? Oh, Shane, don't wind me up. Well, you are a gullible twat sometimes, Shuey, but I'm serious. I've heard some stories about this street and they're very... weird. Shane, stop lying, please. You're just making this up to get out of this bet you're losing. <laughs> oh, I'm not. What's wrong with this place, then? Seems okay to me. Well, there's this bird I know, uh, quite fit actually, <laughs> she, um, well she works for this tele sales company, and she told me about a house down this street that she called out one time. What happened? Well, the house belonged to some old couple. Hello? Hello, could I speak to Mr or Mrs Meadows, please? Well, that all depends who's calling. Well, good morning to you, sir. My name's Lisa Jones and I'm calling on behalf of Telesafe Charities. 
What I'd like to ask you is, do you feel good about yourself when you give to charity? Well, yes, of course. Well, that's wonderful, sir. Are you aware that 57% of the less fortunate are not being given the correct type of care that they are entitled to? Well, that's dreadful. I was totally unaware of this. Telesafe Charities are a charity organiser working to raise money for the disabled to give them a better quality of life. And what we'd like to ask of you is to give a small donation to our cause. Well, I would love to help, but how much would this cost me? Well, my wife and myself are both retired and I have to watch our money very closely these days. That's not a problem, sir. All we ask for is a small monthly donation of £2.50, payable by signing up to our safe and secure website, www.telesavecharities.com, and then entering your details so that we can then set up your online electronic billing, which will automatically donate the money from your account at the end of each month. Hello? Is someone there? Oh, excuse me, I was talking to Mr Meadows. I'm sorry, dear. But Mr Meadows passed away a few years ago. Well, is there somebody else that I could have been talking to? No, dear. I'm here by myself. Who is this? And as you can imagine, it freaked her right out. Shane, did this really happen? Yeah. When do I lie? T two weeks ago. Huh? Uh, you said you were sleeping with Natalie from the office. And when she found out, she slapped you in front of everyone and called you a pathetic little prick. Uh, no, Huey, that was a misunderstanding. I was sleeping with a friend uh, when I gave her the elbow. Natalie got mad about it. But you told me it was Natalie you were sleeping with. No, I didn't. Huh. I thought it was Natalie. You really do get things mixed up, don't you, you prat? <sighs> oh, come on, Shane. It's Friday night. Let, let's just get this last road done, then we can go down the pub. There's a man who lived on this road. Oh. He used to be a regular at the local. Right piss head he was. Well, he moved after what happened to him. What happened? Well, from what I've heard, he, he was walking home one night. Drunk as a lord like he was on many occasions. That's funny, dear. You think that's funny, dear? I think that's funny, dear, right? That's just funny. Come on! Come 
Boost a little bit. A gnome come into life? I don't believe it. Well, after what happened to him that night, he moved out the next day. <laughs> Left a lot of belongings behind, like he was in a rush to leave or something. Well, maybe it was stuff he didn't want and left behind, so he didn't have to take it to the dump or something. Maybe. 
me, but I'm serious. Weird things have definitely happened here. <sighs> Huey, I'm not lying. It's true. Munster Road is crazy. But it seems like such a nice, quiet street. Yeah, that's what it wants you to think. You want to hear about the box story? The box story? <laughs> yeah. This one in particular really freaked me out. Believe me, this hasn't been easy for me. Easy for you? I... I just don't really love you anymore. No, babe. Please don't do this. Please. I'll be round in the morning to pick up my stuff. We can talk then. Wait, don't go. Let's talk about... What the fuck?
course you won't know. What time is it, Huey? Oh, it's gone 9 pm. Oh, it's too late to go and knock on these houses. Well, Huey, there's only one thing for it. What's that? Let's go down a pub, eh? This <laughs> birdie works behind the barry well, fences me. <laughs> oh, and what about the bet? You owe me a tenner. All right, Huey, you win. I'll give it to you once we get down to the boozer. <clears throat> Cheers, Shane. Hey, you never know. I might get lucky tonight myself. That's a spirit, bro. That's a spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 